I'm Joe Alvarez. Welcome to MSA Quick Tips. In the previous segment, we talked about our buddy breathing. That would be line to line connecting. What we're gonna talk about in this tip is our transfilling line, all right? Some departments will run with their writ bag. What MSA has done is they've gotten rid of, we don't really need to have that writ bag with us. We actually have on the officer's pack or some departments will go with every member has one on their, on their harness. It's an actual high pressure hose that will transfill from one cylinder to another. And it's very simple, it's a very small jumper line. It is high pressure. What's gonna happen is my bottle that's on my back here, it's flashing green. I'm the member that's gonna transfer air from one to another. I'm gonna disconnect on the member that needs air. What happens is with our connections, we don't have to worry about playing with these quick connects. That's all you do is you push it and this collar will lock in place. So when I take it and push it in, that's it. You hear that audible click and it's locked in. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my member that needs the air and I'm gonna do the same exact technique. I'm gonna find it, set it in and push. You could hear air transferring from my tank into their tank. Unlike buddy breathing, when we transfill, I could disconnect after I've transferred air into my member's cylinder, and then we're no longer connected. And now we're gonna look at this in real time. Okay, so we found our down member. As the other member comes into the room, he needs to deploy his transfill line. The transfill line is located on the right side. Unlike the buddy breathing line, it comes in off the left side. Well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna deploy this system. It's a high pressure hose. That high pressure hose is gonna get connected into the member's tank that's full or close to being full. The member that's on the ground, as you can see, his lights are flashing red. It's telling us that he's low on air. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the cover we're gonna take this transfill line, we're gonna push it in. As it goes in, it's transferring. Our lights on our MSA tank that's on the back of the member that came into the room is flashing amber now because he's equalizing one cylinder into another to give this member air and then he could disconnect and then go out. Now, as you can see, the member that's on the ground, his system is now flashing amber. It went from red to amber. We're done with this phase. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we can now disconnect. And this is what the transfill line gives you. We can now disconnect and move this member without being tethered to them as if we were gonna use the buddy breathing system. Now we're gonna talk about the MSA RIT pack. The MSA RIT pack has not only the high pressure transfill line, but it also has the buddy breathing line. So now not only can we transfer air from our RIT pack into our member's cylinder, but we could also hook up a buddy breather. And the other thing is that the MSA transfill line that would be on the member's air pack is a high pressure hose. It is the same exact hose that we use on our RIT pack. I'm Joe Alvarez, and thank you for watching MSA's Quick Tips.